What's up everyone, my name is Nigurk, and I'm going to do another challenge because the last one went so well, and I'm going to try highbrow. Again, I have no idea what any of these are. Bird. Uh, I start with flush. Oh, yep, there's my seed. I don't know what all of those items are. I see petrified poop. And I start also with number one. So I am peeing instead of crying. Whenever I break poops, it has a higher chance of uh, spitting out good items for me. And I can turn an entire room into poop. Just like that. Now I'm just going to spend a bunch of time breaking all of these. Okay, so I got a ton of money from that. Uh, jeez, even more money. And petrified poop is insane. Pretty much when you break uh, poop, it just gives you a really good chance of finding uh, items or spirit hearts. I got two spirit hearts from all of that. Tons of red hearts. And what's happening in here? I cannot donate during this apparently, but I am taking the spirit heart. Uh, this thing gives me extra pill room. This thing, I don't quite remember. But yes, I'm actually going to do some more exploring. I have to find my item room, still haven't found that. So let's come up here. Nope, not in here either. Oh, I guess when things touch me, they also get turned into poop. So this is all about turning stuff into poop. One bomb for two bombs. And my bombs are even poop. Okay. I think I found the, the theme here. <laughs> Everything is just poop. Yes, uh... Oh, there's no item rooms, apparently. It's just shops. Maybe. Because I didn't find my item room, so that's what I'm assuming. Alright, who's our boss? Is it Dingle? It is not Dingle. I was kind of hoping the first floor would always be Dingle. It kind of would fit the theme here. But no, it's Famine. I think this was also who I fought in the other one, in the first room. I'm not entirely sure. I seem to remember that, though. Alright, now let's get rid of these flies. I don't think he spawns more when he's just ahead. And we're gonna circle around, juking him. All about them jukes. Yes, okay. And ball of bandages. Nothing too special there. It's just a cube of meat, but it looks different. Oh, an arcade. Okay. Probably going to spend a little bit of time in here. Hoping for the best. If I could actually hit the thing. I think that it can. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scatoli. I still haven't learned how to pronounce it, but it's another poop item. I think if I get hit, then a fly comes out. I'm not 100% sure, but I got it. So every single poop that I find, I have to destroy because it's too beneficial not to. Yep. Also, I definitely need to do it because my shops are going to be very valuable if there's no item rooms. Alright, so this is a big room. I will probably use flush and spend some time breaking poops. I'm noticing when you turn enemies into poop via um, flush, the spacebar item that I have, it doesn't actually break down when you hit it. Like, it still takes damage and it still takes, I think, three hits to destroy it, but it doesn't degrade visually. I'm not sure if that's intentional or a bug or what, but little Isaac trivia there, I guess. If that's something you're interested in. I don't know. I don't I don't pay attention to the poop that much. And envy takes forever. Envy takes seriously forever. Jeez. The music is entirely dramatic and the fight is not in the least. Oh my gosh, here we go. Almost, almost done. Almost, there we go. And a troll bomb. All of that for a troll bomb. 
Alright, kill the popcorn dudes. These ones spit out diagonally. Not so bad. Lots of troll bombs, and it found my secret, too. So that's cool. I'm gonna definitely go back for that. If these guys would just come on out. There we go. And it was worth it, too. What does our item room have this time? Card generator, broken watch, can be pretty trolly. It sped up a mom fight before on me, so I'm not taking either of those. I'm actually kind of enjoying using flush. So I'm gonna have that stick around for a bit more, too. See if I can find anything cool in here. Oh, mini mush, yeah! Yeah! I like... Oh. I like having range up, especially with number one, because it's such a big uh, shot speed upgrade, but the range down is just terrible. So yeah, I'll definitely take the range up from any mush. Break some fire. Alright, now who's our boss? It is Dingle! They do care. And it just wouldn't have been right if I didn't fight Dingle in this challenge. A challenge that is all about poop. Highbrow. And so far the challenges seem more silly than actually challenging. I'm sure the later ones are much more difficult. But so far the, the two that I've done are pretty just silly. Oh, okay let's get that HP up. Definitely like it. Especially because I got to deal with the devil. Uh, Spirit of the Night, I'm definitely taking. I love this item. I love being able to fly, and I love having Spectral Tears. Yeah, not so bad. Especially when I can just fly over the gap. I'm gonna save Flush for a big room, and I'm definitely gonna do this as much as I can. Reusable pill generator, let's see. Telepills. May as well just use it now. It didn't take me anywhere interesting at all. This situation looks extremely familiar. If you watch all of my videos. Now eh, let's turn all of these into poop, why not? Oh, and I got a spirit heart from one of them too. Uh, ladder is not useful because I have Spirit of the Night, so I'm not taking that. The shops kind of suck in this seed, but the item pickups are actually pretty cool. So, I'm liking this seed so far. You could just, yeah, take care of that super easily. I don't, oh, no, wait, okay. I don't see any tinted rocks in here. I look like I have a really shitty hairstyle. Like I'm wearing a, a shitty toupee. Wow. Note to self, add a rim shot in there. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, Pestilence. Uh, I'm probably getting another uh, ball of bandages. I think I've only ever gotten two. I've never seen the third one or the fourth one, and I think it goes only as high as four. But yeah, I've only had to make an overlay for up to getting two. If you could, yeah, stop spitting out the explosive things, that'd be great. I thought destroying his head would stop it, but apparently not. Fight is really easy with Spirit of the Night because I don't have to dodge all the green crap on the floor. <laughs> and I've, I got hit at the very end. Of course I did. I'm pretty sure I still just have to get to Mom, and this is Curse of Darkness. Which I'm I'm getting pretty familiar with as we go along. Okay, it did not pay out with anything. Jeez, that took way too long. 
Oh, and look, I can fly over the spikes. Definitely, Spirit of the Night was a worthwhile investment. But yeah, the the beggar didn't pay out with anything, so I might go in there and blow him up later, or I might find more money to spend on him. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Destroy that fly because it's dark and I won't be able to see it. I don't like that there aren't item rooms, though. Oh, Bob's brain. Suicide on a leash, really. Yeah, this item... Wow, and it takes on my bomb effect, so it makes the room stinky. I hadn't even considered that, actually. But yeah, Bob's brain is definitely a hit or miss item. It can be really nice because it gives you so much damage. I got hit in a really silly way there. Or it can just be the worst because you're going to blow yourself up. Oh. Hematomesis. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Now I think I'm going to stick with petrified poop for now. Okay, these aren't the uh, tri spitters. Wheel of Fortune. Sure, why not? I'll play once. It gave me a spirit heart. Okay. Wasn't actually expecting that, but I'll take it. And what does my shop have, even though I have no money for it? It has greed! How fitting. Oh, okay, flesh. I forgot it doesn't work on boss monsters, if that's something you've been yelling at me about. It doesn't work on boss monsters. I am actually going to blow these up. Because I'm low on health and I'd like to find maybe balls of steel or HP up pills. Oh. Uh... Ah, these guys are difficult, especially with Bob's brain. I just need them to actually open up. Yep, I managed to get myself hit. Kind of figured that would be the case because of Bob's brain. He would just... He would just actually... Oh, open. There we go. Damn it, I got hit again. And another coin beggar. These things are not really... Not really being super helpful this time. If we could just kill you, that would be awesome. Because I'm at 2.5 health. Not super confident in my ability to kill a lot of things. Oh, yep. I kind of deserve that. Forgot he does the uh, left and right thing. But this isn't the adversary, so there is no crappy brimstone shot. And he's actually being pretty easy right now. Yeah. Whoa, no. <laughs> Bob's brain actually helped out. And an HP up, definitely what I needed. Because I'm down to just three dinky little hearts. Which is what I think I started with. Depths XL. Nope. What's this? Range down, butts. Ooh, infamy. I will take any kind of damage reduction right now. And infamy is damage reduction. Oh. Come on, guys. Okay. I really wish I could just turn all of these into poop without getting hit. Oh, hey, a nickel. It's probably going to be helpful if I find my shop. What's this? Master of lockpicking? I don't really think I need that, especially because there's so few things that I really need keys for in this run because there's no shops. So I think this is fine. Sticking with the petrified poop, even though there's really not much more poop. So when I had the option to switch out for Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy, the Liberty Cap, probably should have. But oh. Oh, well. Oh, get away. Oh, 
And these guys are just jumping around like crazy. Yep, uh, yeah. I'm getting hit by a lot of things, and this, the Depths XL is just monstrous. Ooh, there's a tinted rock over there. Just gonna be sure to get that. I figure with Depths XL, there is definitely gonna be a large room that I can use flesh on. And I think I'm gonna go into the cursed room. If you get close enough, you can hit all four with one bomb. Damn it. Of course I would. Of course I would. I am going to keep Guppy's head. I like it. Gives me flies. Range down. Do not want it. Pretty fly. Absolutely want it. I have to... Oh. Right. It... Yeah. Okay, never mind. Give me the bomb. Just to have it. And I'm going to fast forward my way back. Alright, what's up here? Yeah, Depths XL just takes forever to get through. I'm not taking Broken Remote. I hate that item. Whenever you, um... It's whenever you use your spacebar item, it teleports you to a random room. Which I don't see a whole lot of use in such an item. Oh my gosh. Maybe Bob's Brain was a bad investment. And in, by investment, I mean I shouldn't have taken it, even though it was free. Oh, okay, little ghost duders. Come over here. He, it's like he can't fly against the force of the uh, gravity. Not going in that. Scratching my shoulder. And shooting tears. Love when Bob's brain actually works for me. Instead of blowing me up. Easy enough. Where is my boss room? This is getting silly. I haven't even found my shop either. I wonder which one I'm going to find first. Apparently nothing this way. Just get out of here. I hate these guys. Yep, just getting out of there. And what's this? It's just a little ghost tutor. Oh, an eternal heart. That's helpful. Is there anything over this way? love being able to fly over the center just like that. Because they do try to cut you off by going to each side. Oh, uh, this is kind of where I wish I had flush. But, eh, I'll be fine. And I'm talking about the next room that I go into because it's a large room. Who knows, it might just be one of the big poop rooms. Got these head. Oh no, yeah, flush would have been great here. Just gonna keep shooting all of you. Now that I don't have Bob's brain to worry about. Yeah. Oh, you guys are still alive. And this guy. Okay. Mysterious candy. Ah. Uh... Man, some things I make an item card for, and I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'll remember that, and then I totally forget. Oh my gosh. I got damaged by an immobile enemy because I blew myself up. But yeah, I'm like, oh, I'll totally remember what this thing does. Because I made an item card for it. It's so cool and helpful. And then I totally forget. Happens pretty often. Actually. A uh, flat penny. I wish I remember. One plus one. I love that item. I don't have the money for it. Flat penny. Uh. Okay, so my shop and or my yeah my shop and my item room really close together. Jesus, my shop and my boss room 
We're really close together, is what I was trying to say. I'm gonna actually try to blow him up because I have 25 bombs. But he is not having it. He has dodged every single one so far. I'm getting pretty good at fighting Monster too, at least. Pretty nice. This guy, no. I think I've used seven bombs on him now, and I maybe hit with one. But yeah, just avoid the left and the right so you don't get hit by the brimstone shot, and monster or two is pretty easy. Yep. What do I get? Pageant boy, a bunch of money. Which is actually helpful. Oh, it's a double boss room. Nice. Uh, great. That's cool, I guess. Alright, one plus one. So item drops are now doubled, except for spirit hearts and black hearts. Alright, oh, it's mom, okay. Yeah. Suck it, mom. That's not something I'm ever gonna say in my life ever again. Oh, Jesus. Bob's brain is such a nightmare sometimes. And I bet if I had um, taken the broken watch early on, which I think was on the first floor, they probably would have sped up Mom like it did last time because it's, it's, that's just what it does. Item hates me. Don't really think my bombs are being super helpful in this situation. But I did it! I got the negative and we beat the challenge run, surprisingly. It's probably pretty nice that it just goes to mom. Let's see. What do I get? The rune of Jera has appeared in the basement. I'm Nagark. Thank you for watching. Hey! Thanks for watching my video! You should click one of the videos on the screen to see their playlist. There's literally hours of entertainment in each of them. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified of everything I create in the future, and you'll be the first to see it.